So now in this video we're going to look at the FRM01 module again. So there's 18 different functions or settings that you can do. This one we're going to look at number 4. So it comes programmed with uh, function number 1 where when you turn the power on it counts down the time that is set. 5 seconds was set from the uh, factory or whatnot, And then the uh, relay actually turns on. This is a normally open switch when the relay's on then you have a connection so it's turned on now we have an op uh, normally closed switch right here which will be the opposite condition right now the LED would be off if we wired it on that side and when the relay's off then the LED would be on but in any case we're gonna just focus on function 4 for this video so now you might notice a capacitor at the rail not really required for this but it helps smooth out any uh, spikes from the power supply so 470 microfarad right there and looking at the user manual that you can get online it actually recommends this so I just grabbed it because I was having some issue with spikes but it is actually on the manual and now we'll work on programming the module for function 4 the uh, thing is the uh, module I have works on 5 volts. I guess they have a uh, 12 volts I mean. I guess they have a 5 volt version and a 24 volt version and I have it on bubble wrap because we have these exposed pins down there. I don't want them to fall in any slots. So we're gonna go to function 4 and uh, that's pretty straightforward. We hold set. Right now we basically reset the board. It's in its off position in the most part. So the relay turned off, LED turned off because we are using the normally open. So we can use the uh, SW1 button there to move from option to option, but we want to change that one. So this is plus, we'll work our way up to four. If we have to go down, we can hit that button right there. So now we have the uh, function four. And this has two times. So the first time we'll deal with, we can set with this one. Let's make that one shorter for uh, no real reason uh, we'll make this one slightly larger also we can make a fractional by holding that down now it's 0.6 about half of a second if we get rid of this now it's six seconds and uh, there's another setting here I don't know what that does yet so we will uh, come back and now we will demonstrate what happens with four so when I hold down the uh, set button it will uh, accept it and now you can see what it does so right at the beginning the relay turns on and then it turns off after that countdown after the second countdown it turns back on and it stays back on so right now we're using power so that's what function 4 does now I have a uh, jumper so this is a completely separate power supply you can switch a completely different uh, power supply that's all it is is a switch on that side this power supply controls everything else for the module other than what the uh, switch is doing this jumper goes to the positive rail 12 volts for this uh, unit because it's the 12 volt unit we can give a positive signal to that pin there and it just has to be at least 20 milliseconds and then it will reset it it will do its thing right there so that's what 4 does is we can turn the power off so if the power is off then right when the power comes on the load turns on until the first countdown then it turns off until the second countdown and then it turns back on and stays back on if you're at the normally open the normally closed position the light would be doing the opposite but the relay would be doing the same thing so hopefully that made sense check out one of these other videos and I'm going to probably take a break on making these uh, relay videos for this relay because views are going down. But I made too many yesterday. So hopefully people aren't losing interest. I just made too many in a short period of time. But uh, in any case, make sure to check out one of the other videos. Click like, subscribe, the bell. And I will see you in the next video.